Hey everybody, this is Trey Poole. I'm the minister of the gospel right here at and for the Op Church of Christ. And this is our uh, Friday edition of our four o'clock devotional time. Learned something new earlier today, so I wanted to try it. I learned how to uh, pre-record something uh, video-wise and then upload it and post it to Facebook. So I wanted to, to just try it out today uh, and see how it works. But in, in view of this coming Sunday being Father's Day, I wanted to share something with you entitled Father, the Image of God. And I uh, want to say uh, Happy Father's Day. I know it's a little bit early, but uh, just allow me to go ahead and say Happy Father's Day to you out there, uh, especially to my dad. He'll be watching. Uh, he'll probably see this later. But dad, love you. Thank you uh, for all that you do and have done for me. So this is entitled Father, the Image of God, written by Kenny Payne, fellow minister and preacher, uh, a few years back. I've had it for a while, and it's just really, really good. Allow me to read it and share it with you. Uh, as, as we think about our fathers and as we prepare to, to honor our fathers, our earthly fathers, and as we uh, think about our heavenly father. So with all that, let me just share this with you. It's entitled Father, the Image of God. As a boy, I thought my father could do anything. He was larger than life. He was smart. He knew what to do in every situation. He was strong. He could lift and move anything. He was fast. The things I struggled with for hours, he could do in just minutes. He was never afraid. With dad around, I was safe and happy. As I grew older, I learned that dad was neither the smartest, strongest, nor fastest person who ever lived. Dad was sometimes afraid, and even though he tried, he could not always keep me safe. I learned that Dad was a man. It was a disappointing reality. I expected more. However, it prepared me for a better understanding of my father. My dad was just a man, but a man with a mission. My dad is committed to his wife and children. I always knew that Mom came first. I was second and that dad would be last. He shows this to me by the way he spent his time, the way he spent his money. Dad rarely bought things for himself. He uses the money for his family. Dad spends his time away from, from home at, at work and with his family. He worked hard, and this too was for his family. In a culture that promotes Loyalty to self over every other obligation. Dad is loyal to his family. He's not perfect, but he is faithful, and I am thankful. My image of God was shaped in my early years by my father. When Jesus compares God to a father, I have a good memory base to make the association. But this is not true for all people. Some fathers are neither strong, wise, caring, or loyal. Tragically, many fathers simply walk away from their families, while many others live in the house, but they refuse to be the men they need to be. Therefore, some hear God referred to as Father, and they cringe. Lacking a good example of a father, they avoid this image of God. And this is truly sad, because in Father we find the best description of God. This Father's Day, honor your earthly father if you are able, and honor your heavenly father. He will never let you down because loyalty and love are his specialties. Isn't that good? Well, as we prepare for Father's Day to worship our heavenly father on the Lord's Day, uh, to give honor to our earthly fathers, past or, or present. Uh, we want to make sure that as fathers, uh, we uh, pattern ourselves after our Heavenly Father and live the life God has called us to live and be the men, the fathers, the husbands, our families, and our Heavenly Father want and needs us to be. So again, happy Father's Day. We love you. Thank you for all that you do, uh, especially to our Christian fathers who work so hard uh, in their homes for their families. We love you and uh, hope and pray that you stay blessed, stay safe, and uh, let's keep our ultimate goal on heaven. Let's lead our families and our children to heaven. Well, hope you have a great weekend. I look forward to being with you on Sunday uh, at 1030 uh, for our Sunday morning worship. 
And uh, if you're not going to join us live uh, uh, there at the church building, uh, then you can join us on Facebook Live, 1030. We're going to stream all of our services Sunday morning at 1030 and then Sunday evening at 530 and then Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. So make sure that you join us for all of those. And again, happy Father's Day. We love you. Take care. We'll see you soon.